Hey guys, uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rundown, a how-to on Bunsen burners. Typically we do this in class, um, but I wanted you to have a good understanding before um, you come into lab and you um, are trying to do this yourself because I might not be able to help you instantly. In order to get your lab done, you're going to want to know what a Bunsen burner is, what it does, what it looks like. So. Uh, this is our typical Bunsen burner. Uh, this is the one like if you're if you're going through our drawers, I would highly suggest trying to find this one. They all have um, they all have some, and so they'll come all with um, some hoses attached, um, so you won't see this part, but the hose will be there, and then you attach it to a similar looking thing on our um, gas nozzles. You know, just try to push it up there as far as you can. Um, it shouldn't be that bad. But what I want to show you is two parts right so down here this is the this is the gas and basically you just want to have this open right um, fully open you don't want it so fully open that it this piece is falling out because that's happened before but you can kind of tighten it up and then loosen it up um, and it will it'll be perfectly fine we we don't want to use this to control our gas we just want to use the the handle on the table to turn it off and to turn it on um, what we're going to use to control our gas is this, right? So this whole cylinder spins, right? And so what we want to do is we want to screw it down and we want to make it tight um, before we we start um, or we try to start our Bunsen burner. Um, that shuts off the air and it makes it a lot easier to a lot easier to start. Um, it'll start almost on a on a on a single spark and then we'll see like very wispy yellow flame. Um, and that we will um, turn into a blue flame and I'll show you in a little bit. But basically we do that by adjusting the air. All right. So as you unscrew this, as long as you're not touching the top up here, even though there's fire going, this never gets hot. Right. So if you just adjust it down here by loosening it up, right, not playing with the gas, just loosening up the air. And you're going to see in this area, there'll be a gap that'll start to start to form as the um, as it opens up a little bit farther, you can adjust it to get um, our, our two cones, our two blue cones. And that's what we're looking for in this lab, in most labs. Um, sometimes we don't need that, but you'll know that um, in between. So um, this has the most adjustments. Um, it's, it's the easiest to fine tune, uh, but it's not the only style we have. So we also have this guy, right? Same thing. There's, there's a hose on it. Notice um, this does not have, there is no um, gas. Um, <coughs> adjustment here which is fine we don't we don't ever need to adjust the gas so on this guy what we have is we just have um, this ring and this ring just opens up the vents in there um, not as fine tune of adjustment um, you know so most labs these would be fine I would suggest staying away from these on this first lab because we want to get it um, pretty particular but if we're just trying to heat some up these are fine too we can kind of close it off to create a um, a um, yellow flame and we can open it open or wide open in order to create a um, a blue flame um, but this one doesn't adjust as well as you might want it to um, for something where we're actually timing um, the heating of this guy so you might want to stay away from that one this time but most of the time they're they're perfectly good all right so last thing real quick is just what are we looking for all right so when you have your flame um, perfect right so after we start to adjust it and this is what I talk about with the inner and the outer cone so we have this we have this blue inner cone right here right a little bit shorter and then we have this bigger blue outer cone out here right and so for this first lab what we're doing is we're we're testing all right we're gonna do one where we're about two centimeters above the top and then we're going to do one in all they're all different so besides that first one I'm not giving you ever any measurements then we're going to try to do one that's right here and then we're going to try to do one that's right at the top of the outer blue flame right just to see like depending on what we're trying to do what um, where would the flame be the best so as we go through um, as you're looking at these again once you get that on you can spark it turn it up and this is um, this is what you should be looking for when you are um, ready to go in your lab. All right. 